fans are freaked out about food, this is not the episode for you. But here at the Genshinist, uh, we seek to educate about disability and the disability experience. And one area that I don't think gets a lot of attention is feet. Because for many, I won't say all, for many people with disabilities, their feet is not like the average person's foot. Particularly those who are wheelchair users or even who intermittently um, you know, walk and, and use a wheelchair, and some conditions can result in feet that are underdeveloped, that um, haven't fully grown or stretched. Um, maybe the bone structure is different, it's smaller, everything is scaled down. And it really can be a challenge to find shoes that fit comfortably and don't look like they're bought from a medical catalog. I mean, no offense, but some of the stuff out there is not the most attractive. So I'm gonna talk about my foot situation, and then Dan, you can talk about yours. Um, okay. He's not really feeling this episode topic. You think you got pretty average feet, right? Okay. You don't really think about your feet? Yeah. I would say that my foot is about the size of an eight-year-old girl's. A U.S. size two, okay? That would fit me perfectly. Um, now, I don't know if you've looked at eight-year-old girl's shoes lately, but they look very often like a shoe made specifically to delight the senses of an eight-year-old. These COVID slippers, by the way, I got them during the pandemic and I'm totally in love with them, are really awesome. They're from a brand called uh, Koyuchi. So let's reveal. And I have these toe separators we'll talk about in a moment. But inside, they're made of uh, terry cloth. So this was a woman's slipper and a size 5, which is typically the smallest. Uh, when I first bought them, before I washed them for the first time, the, the length was a little bit too long for my foot. Uh, my foot's a little bit over, I think it's like eight and a quarter inches long. Um, but I, I, I tend to have like wider feet and I don't like my toes to scrunch together. And when you have a neuromuscular uh, condition, you don't have a lot of control over your toes. And so I, I put these toe separators to keep my toes from overlapping and squishing together. But I have to say, I think they would be quite painful if your toes like fully overlapped one another. I, I think that these would be hard to keep on all day. And so you can just slide the foot right in. And these were easier to put on when, when they were a little bit longer. It's hard to find shoes that will accommodate the width of the feet as well as like the height of the foot, especially in a children's shoe because a child's foot, the bone structure is just different. I'm, I, I'm fortunate that my ankle is still um, holding up in and, and the sense that like I have an arch in my foot, whereas my other um, foot, which is on my right side and my non-dominant side, uh, has fallen. I have like a fallen arch. Let's go into the different shoe companies and shoes that I found that have been uh, helpful. You with us, Dan? Yeah. <laughs> Dan's ready for his nap. Ah, Yeah. 
Your, your souls. Your souls, Dan. No. Yeah, your souls. So yeah, why don't you tell them how you get that tree today? Uh, I use this terrain and it's a brand working well. It's uh, antifungal, yeah. It's, okay. Do you know the name of it? <laughs> no. Okay. So the first pair of uh, shoes I'm going to show you are from the brand Tom's. Tom's Shoes. And these are a woman's pair of shoes from there. Oh. <laughs> like this thing? I do. Yeah, I do too. They're very, well, now I have this insert here. My mom is very particular about putting my uh, shoes back. I really appreciate that. Mom, it keeps the, the shape of the toe box. Appreciate that. I spend a ridiculous amount of time scouring the interwebs and finding uh, brands and different even styles that would accommodate a whole slew of criteria that I have. Um, but just to, to not have the toe cleavage, the dreaded toe cleavage, because your, your toes are starting much uh, lower in the shoe as opposed to where the average user's toes would hit. I'm just not a fan of toe cleavage. Now some women, they don't mind. Did you know that thing? Did you know about the concept of toe cleavage? <laughs> yeah. But this one, okay, not only is it wide in the toe box. Now, could I wear my toe separators in this one? No, no, I can't. But it's it doesn't press against the pinky toes, and they're very roomy in the toes. Love that. The shoe that, that Toms are known for are, I forget what the name is, um, but they're very, they run very small. And so I have a size five that I needed to stretch <laughs> a lot. But I keep them because they're just so beautiful and I love them. If you're not familiar with Tom's, they have a wonderful mission and they will donate shoes and now even um, uh, eyewear mm -hmm. to people in need. So Tom's is a, is the first brand. The other brand that I will, um, scour their website for cute adult looking type shoes is Azos. Okay folks, Azos is another brand and they actually offer size 4. But these fit fairly well. Now I tried another size 4 sandal uh, from Azos and it was too long. It didn't work for me. For whatever reason this style worked. My toes are not, you know, f really far away from the opening. They, they fit as they should. I did have to use a, a, um, a shoe stretcher, which is uh, invaluable, by the way, to help with the stretching of toe boxes. So Azos is another brand and, you know, they have some really cute styles. For sneakers and, you know, big toe boxes, I got these. And I like also sneakers with really like, thin soles. Sorry. You are doing it on purpose now. No. But the real draw of these, mm. and this is from a company called Zero, spelled with an X. And I'll put the links down below. Zero uh, brand is all about barefoot walking which is ironic because I don't walk. And by the way, aren't my souls like totally clean? I just have such a pure souls. <laughs> they are all about barefoot walking. So they promote very wide toe boxes so the toes can splay as one walks. Um, they want the, the, the footwear to feel as close to the earth as possible and i find that their size fives particularly um in this style for women uh fit pretty well there is still some room at the top in terms of length but i'm okay with that because i typically wear socks and you're not going to see the toe coverage and the last brand 
that I'm gonna talk about with you today. And then maybe we'll spark some ideas for you to to try to find some some styles that you like or um, that are more, I don't know, fashionable perhaps. I, I mean, because I have friends who just resort to buying the, the all kids shoes and it's kind of like, well, it, it's so hard to find um, stylish shoes in these sizes that it's just like, forget it, I don't have the time. Well, hopefully this is helpful. This is a child's shoe and um, it's the size two. This one is um, in European sizing because this is from the brand, of course, Birkenstock. Uh, very famous, very old, um, from Germany, and this is a size 33. And I love a toe loop. I'm not in love with the buckles, I'll be honest. I'm not in love with the sole, but it's as close to a comfortable sandal with a toe loop that truly fits me. And it's very, very comfortable with the with the suede lining and um, and on top you're able to adjust the the buckle and so I have a really high instep and uh, it's hard for sandals even in girl sizes. That's all I have for you guys. So let's talk about more feet. I just got my tongue out. Because you go to a place that yeah you like that place thing love it yeah it's pretty fancy they been I get right yeah and they they lower the prices like they could charge you for a full blown pedicure but they don't. Your right foot has, is basically an average foot shape. You see, like, you have an arch right there, and that, and, and you can see that your right foot is more muscular. Whereas if you look on your left, even the color of your foot is different. Like it's more um, pale, and the the shape of the ankle and the, and the arch is is different and then because your foot your toes turn to the left um your pinky toenail has rubbed so, so much against your shoes that it it forms like that that level of catalyst like that's why your toenails like that in part wow <laughs> And that's part of, you know, the effects from your accident is that you have your left side partially paralyzed, you know? Mm. And so that's how your foot, um, you know, ended up like a little bit different from your, from your right foot. Cute little feet, then. Happy and Keep it getting Genshi. Ciao. Thank you so much for watching another episode of the Genshi's where we talk about our disability experiences and what they teach us about being human. Sub. God. I dare you. Oh my god, you ruined it. <laughs> <laughs>